silent mode and please raise your hand before you ask a question. See, uh, when I had a look before the toss, and we knew that there was some moisture on the pitch, which always will be helpful uh, for the fast bowlers initially, the first uh, seven to ten overs. So we decided, as a team, as a group, that you know we want to be uh, going and facing those challenges because it's important when you know uh, we now that we played the way we played, posted. A decent target on the board. Uh, that wouldn't have happened if we would have chased. You know, uh, I thought the wicket also got flatter uh, towards the end, and we knew that to some extent it, it, it will be uh, better to bat second. But uh, as a team, we wanted to go out there and see, you know, how we face uh, face those challenges. Because come the World Cup, you know, big games, we will be put into those situations. So what then? Uh, so we, we wanted to make sure that you know we try and go and face those challenges. Yes, we lost uh, four wickets uh, up front. Uh, there is a learning there for us uh, as, as a batting unit as to how you know we should be batting when the ball is swinging, uh, when the conditions are not that easy. Uh, but again, you know a lot of positive also came out uh, you know from that. Uh, the way Raidu batted, yes, he took his time, uh, stitched. A very good partnership with Vijay. I thought Vijay really batted well. Uh, although I mean, I was a little disappointed that he got out. He should have gotten 50 there, uh, very well deserved. Maybe 100 also. For, you never know. But he got out uh, unfortunately. Uh, but yes, you know, guys now know. Uh, come the situation, they know how to do it. Uh, the run rate wasn't that great. Uh, the first 30 overs, but we still managed to get 250, which is a big, big positive in my opinion. Massive confidence uh, uh, for him to bat in a situation like that when the team is down 20 for 4 uh, and you got to bail the team out of that situation. Uh, you know, with his experience, he's played enough cricket, he's played a lot of cricket, uh, you know, and he's been around for many years. Uh, so he used his experience uh, and Again, we, we've seen, uh, you know, no matter how many wickets you lose, you stitch one good partnership and things starts to look slightly different, you know, a lot better, I would say, uh, when you have those kind of partnership. Uh, so he used his experience, you know, uh, which is a massive booster uh, for him going forward. Uh, yeah, again, I wouldn't be able to comment on, you know, uh, about the World Cup, who will be batting at four. It, it's not my place to talk about it. Uh, but yes, talk, talking about the whole series, how he batted, I think he can take a lot of confidence from this series. Uh, he batted and finished off games uh, uh, in uh, Toranga when we played there. Uh, uh, stitched a good partnership again with MS and Dinesh. So yeah, he, he's looking very good at the moment. I just want him to continue. We, we've got five more games against Australia as well back home. So I think you know, if he bats the way he batted, it will be good for us. And just to talk about position, sir, uh, it was a different approach. Uh, usually, you face a one all rounder, spin a two spinner, and a part time. We had two all rounders today. So, is that something? Again, what was See, the idea? Uh, it, it, just that we want to be prepared, very, very well prepared for the World Cup. You know, we want to try all our combinations, whatever is available with us. Uh, we wanted to try four seeming option and one spinner and with Kedar being a part-timer there. Uh, we wanted to try that. See, again, I said, uh, if the series was on the line, we would have played with two spinners, probably three, three seamers with Kedar being there. Uh, but yes, now that we won the series uh, after the third game, so we wanted to try out various combinations which will help us uh, going forward. Uh, so that was the idea because, you know, in the World Cup, you're going to play nine games. 
semi-final, final, so that's 11 games, there's a lot of games. Uh, anything can happen to anyone, injuries, out of form, those things, keeping those things in mind, we wanted to try out every combination that we can have as a team. And I think we tried that. We tried with two spinners, we tried with four uh, seamers uh, and one spinner. And then Kedar always gives us uh, that balance of being a second spinner because I, I consider him as a proper spinner because he, every game you see he bowls four, five overs, six overs, seven overs maybe and gets a wicket as well at the crucial time. Even today you saw uh, the wicket of Kane Williamson, I think was a crucial point uh, when he got that wicket. We were going pretty well at that point. Uh, things were looking very easy from the New Zealand perspective. He came and broke that partnership and, and we've seen that many a times uh, he's done that. So, uh, you know, he gives us that balance also if we want to play with four seamers and one spinner and Kedar being sort of uh, your uh, second lead spinner. Uh, Rohit, New Zealand uh, has given a bit of a challenge, but is a challenge good enough or how would you rate New Zealand's uh, overall performance uh, given a bit of a challenge or something to learn from this year? No, I, I mean, coming here in New Zealand and beating New Zealand 4-1 is, is a massive ach achievement from our point of view. Uh, teams have come here in the past and have struggled beating these guys here. And they particularly at home, they play very good cricket. Uh, so for us, it, it's a uh, great takeaway. Uh, I would say 4-1, winning a 4-1 series is never easy. Uh, you know, last time when we came here, we were thrashed 4-0. So uh, we didn't have a point to prove to anyone. We just wanted to play a good cricket, which we've been doing for the past 8 to 10 months now. Uh, and see, New Zealand have got great balance in their squad. You saw today they bat deep and they've got quality bowling lineup as well in their uh, team. And, uh, you know, they, we saw a bit of glimpse in the last game where we bowled out uh, 90 odd, uh, where, you know, the bowling came together and, you know, they would challenge us. Even today, 18 or 20 for four, uh, they've got real quality in their squad. Uh, so for us, Coming here and going back 4-1 is, is a great achievement. Yeah. Alright, so even before the first game of this series, India were touted as one of, if not the team to beat in this format of the game. And as you've just mentioned, a 4-1 series win in New Zealand, um, that puts an even bigger target on your back now in this year. Do you guys relish that kind of challenge? Yeah, I think absolutely. Like We knew uh, it is going to be a challenging uh, Tour coming to New Zealand and beating these guys here. Uh, as I said, teams have come here in the past and have not succeeded in limited overs. Uh, and they've really done well in the limited overs. So for us to come here and get that result is, is a great achievement. Uh, it was not easy at, at, as it may seem that we won 3-0 uh, in the first three games and then we lost one and then we won again. It was not easy, uh, you know, uh, but again, we got to look into our, uh, you know, in our team that every every now and then when we needed somebody to put their hand up, they did that. Uh, whether it was spinners uh, in the first three games and uh, whether it was seamers uh, to start with, uh, we got wicket in the power play, which is so crucial in the first 10 overs. And then the sp two spinners came together and got those wickets uh, in the first three games I'm talking about. And even today, uh, to get two wickets in the first 10 overs and then, you know, uh, for the spinners to come in, there was not much in for the spinners today, uh, but they came out and they stuck to their plans, which is, I think, a very, very uh, positive from our side because we're doing what we expect ourselves to do and that is why we're getting rewarded with that. We're not trying anything different. We're just sticking to our game plan and what we need to do as a team and I think that is giving us whatever reward we are finding it uh, on the field. Um, Rohit, what uh, future prospects you see for Shubham Gill? Though he wasn't successful, but looks like an exceptional talent. No, no, he, he, he's, a, he's a real good talent. Um, with just two odd games, uh, you can't really judge too much and you can't look into too much. Uh, he went out on a difficult situation. Uh, um, but again, this will give him a lot of learning uh, because he's a top order batsman. So every time he plays, he will be in those type of situation where ball is seeming around, swinging around. Uh, so I think it will be a great learning for him. Uh, he's a great talent, without a 
pointed out. Uh, he's done really well for India A, uh, his domestic team. Uh, so I don't see any reason why he can't play longer for India. Thank you. Thank you.